My name is Nigel Farrow. I'm the inventor of the Farrow system. I'd like to explain the reason why the Farrow system is different to other systems that are out there in the marketplace. What I did some number of years ago was I incorporated heat into the system. Heat gives you energy. Energy is not lost until it vents the atmosphere. So in an in a instant, really, what's happened here with this machine, this is a new prototype which is being launched here at this show. It's a 650 Max. The reason this machine has been launched is because Faro is now being asked to come into the heavy cleaning. This is a shipyard piece of equipment. This is heavy industry. Why is Faro still different? Because it has the heat. The heat is the secret of the whole system. So what do we have? We have water and media goes into the pot. What comes out the end of the nozzle is cold. What has happened is heat has changed to energy. This causes not only to give you energy, it gives you what we call free flow. Free flow means it aligns the media. Therefore, the media comes out the end of the nozzle literally at the speed of sound just at the impact of the nozzle, but it's gentle. In other words, it gives it a kick. Imagine my hand represents the surface you're cleaning. As the media comes out, it hits the surface, the length of my finger, disintegrating on impact across the surface. Therefore, we get more cleaning with less media. Throughout the, the time I've been experimenting with the machines, and to this day I still am, we have made the machine fit the demands of what the marketplace wants today. Very simple. We have to be uh, accountable to the green effect, not only with the system being totally green, disposal of all the media. The media in this machine is less than what a conventional blast system is. Therefore, there is less time cleaning up, less time being spent what we call in landfills. Bar pressure on these machines runs from two bar to uh, seven bar. What I mean is the pressure range there is literally from zero to 100 psi. What happens in conventional cleaning is to, to get the, the flow, people put the pressure up. So really what you're doing now, you're throwing uh, objects at a surface. And what I wanted to be was the first man to clean a surface without damaging it. This, this machine has been specifically built for the requirements of what we see here today at the show. People are coming to us. They're coming to us with things such as time, saving, money equals time. So what you get here is by incorporating the heat in the system, you get a more effective system. I've never really sold a machine. What I've done is solved the problem. What I mean, this can adapt to anything. And I always say to people, the two things I've never cleaned is gold and diamonds. Everything you see around you, these machines have cleaned.